in general, I really like this uh, this type of approach. Is that when I when I feel that these these transients are are a little bit too too different from each other, but I don't want to like do the same type of thing what I did with, for example, like cutting them into individual uh, pieces and do the processing like that. Uh, either because I believe that it, it this if it's, this is only a transient issue, so in, in in those cases I would make sounds like quieter on average than I, I would need to make them uh, otherwise. But then the, the transients would still poke out. So that's not really going to be like a good solution to begin with. So in, in those types of situations, I'm going to load up a brick wall limiter. My choice uh, is usually the ProL2. Um, not all the time, but I would say 90% of cases I'm going to use the ProL2. So this, this is a very, very, very good all around brick wall limiter. It's also pretty good on the master. It's just that my personal preference is, is the ozone. And there are also other situations where I want a little bit... Uh, like I want a, uh, a limiter that's not adaptive release. For example, with with, with kick drums, I, I want to push the the low end into like these types of uh, uh, the, the other type of limiter because that's going to give me like a, a little bit of a, a delay. so I in those cases I want a less transparent res result. That's the, that's the whole point. The Pro L2 is extremely transparent. This is why it's gen general purpose, generally speaking, for general purpose stuff, <laughs> it's gonna be like very very good. And so this is what I'm gonna do here is to try to to make sure that these transients are, are normalized around like probably gonna you know do it around on this point like it's gonna be like around minus 10 or, or so you know that that's my my idea just by looking at the waveform and also just just to touch on these these algorithms a little bit with this safe mode it's going to be extremely transparent but it's not going to be as as fast i would say like it's it, it's it operates in a way to to make sure that there's not not going to be an, uh, a whole lot of distortion and also like especially with these these breast type of samples or like any, anything other that that's you know has, has this kind of pokey character to it a lot of times what also can help a lot with with transient control is if you filter a little bit from the, from the high end especially during build ups or or like so so when if this happens in the chorus i i don't really want <laughs> want to do this in general but when if th this uh, happens in a build up or just in in the early parts of a breakdown for example then i'm i'm much more inclined to try this method also out um, in in terms of like you know like a transient shaping mechanism